The goal in this episode of Extreme Log is to obtain the Champion's Cape. Before grinding out the different Champion Scrolls, we'll be preparing two main things. I want to make as many cannonballs as I can, and I want to obtain the Barrow's Gloves. And let me already tell you, towards the end of the scroll grind, I make a massive mistake. So keep watching to find out what happens next. Now join me as I take on the collection log once more, except this time I will do it one log at a time. This is extreme log. Alrighty, Operation Cannonball is a go. I just withdrew the exact amount of coins I need to buy all the coal from Blast Furnace to match up with my iron ore to make into steel bars afterwards, which will get me up to like 20,000 plus steel bars in the bank. So I'll be able to make 80,000 cannonballs from that. So we're just going to be running back and forth between this guy and the bank for a little while, buying all of the coal. It's 67 coins each and the price never changed. Changes, so this is the exact amount I need 1.2 mil approximately all right there we go 17.8 K coal has just been purchased and now we just have to turn all of these coal and iron ore into steel bars can't be that bad right let's get to it there we go we're done making the bars that took a few hours looks like I mean was that four hours 20 did I spend all of that making these bars I don't even know but we got a lot of XP from that actually I'm actually really close to level 86 smithing already but we now have a massive 20,579 steel bars that are ready to be turned into some cannonballs with the double ammo mold and I guess if I do that in the forestry world maybe I'll be able to get some more bird eggs if we get some easy calls that we can follow up on but we'll see but yeah it's operation turn bars into balls now there's that smithing level that comes in right after we finish making the bars 86 smithing lovely it's gonna take quite some time to make these balls, but at least, you know, with the double ammo mold, we, we are speeding things up. And I have a new look. I've got the crab helmet on with the petal garland, and I think I look amazing. We get another chance at the baguette, but we get a bucket, which is pretty close if you think about it. Bucket, baguette, baguette, it's like the same thing, basically. Right, so as expected, they have added the sturdy beehive parts to the collection log on this update. So we will have to do a little bit more forestry. We'll have to look out for the beehive event, but apparently it's pretty quick to get this. So it shouldn't take long at all to re-green log forestry again. Oh, well, there it is. I guess all it takes is just one of these beehives on one event and you get the beehive parts. So we're done with forestry again. That's green logged. Alright, here we go. We have another quick nine bird eggs that I got. May as well see if we get an evil chicken piece. We're up to 82. So this is gonna put us at 90 total offerings. And no evil chicken yet. Let's do a few quests. A little break from the cannonball making. This is crazy. The, the RNG of the Dragon X is catching up to us. We just got every single bead without a duplicate from imps in 17 kills. That is absolutely cracked. I just so happen to have these beads on me already, mate. There you go. First quest completed, Imp Catcher. And I guess next up we'll also be doing Dragon Slayer to finish up that green list of the free-to-play quests. Ah, oh, body rune. Man, it's such a letdown every single time. Have you slayed that dragon? Damn right I did. There it is, Dragon Slayer 1, baby. That's me. And I guess I will buy a rune plate body as well now. So that means we are saying goodbye to the gold decorative body that has served as well. But we are a dragon slayer, so we have earned the right to wear this. Up to 131 quest points. So that's pretty decent already. I've done it. I've become a hero. We now have access to the Heroes Guild. Very nice. Do we get any levels from the XP? 32 range. Let's go. Very nice. Just working on the final prereqs for the Legends quest right now. Hapa! 87 smithing from making some balls. Very nice. 
Hey, nice. Just caught another dragon impling that came by here while I'm AFKing some Witka thing to uh, try and spawn some ends while I'm doing forestry on generate task. And I actually got three glories from that, so that's pretty nice. I just finished turning my final steel bar into cannonballs, and we ended up with just about 87,000 cannonballs at the ready in the bank. Well, I guess now what's left is getting those barrows gloves, so we are gonna go on a questing spree to get those. We still have quite some quest points to get and of course rfd to finish as well and then it's time to uh, go for some champion scrolls afterwards all right quick evil chicken piece for the boys that's a hundred offerings now on this account oh wait wait i just got 45 prayer let's go we have mystic might that's gonna be huge now we gotta figure out what quests i want to do towards the barrow's gloves I think this completes the quest, right? There we go. That's Shiloh Village done. Now the only prereq left for Legends quest is Underground Pass. So I guess we'll do that one. Then we can do Legends quest. And then we can finish the final part of the uh, RFD sub quest. And then it's just getting quest points, really. We have the Iban Soft and Underground Pass has been completed. So, I mean, we only just started the quest. And this is all we have to do for the RFD sub quest. But considering we started Legends, we may as well just go ahead and finish it as well. We need to get more quest points anyways. All right, the end of the Legends quest. 30k XP on every single one. That's gonna be 120k Herbler XP. Not quite enough for a level, but we'll take it. Wait, actually, we can use it on prayer as well. That might not be a bad shout, actually. Definitely should have, but that still puts us at 54 prayer, which is quite nice. 81 combat, we'll take that. And that is Legends quest completed. All right, tourist trap completed. I guess we'll put this on... I mean, thieving? <laughs> That's our lowest skill. It doesn't have much impact on the others, so... There we go, Temple of Eikhoff completed with 33 range because I used knives and then you only needed, like, one ice arrow, which is pretty nice. There we go, that is 37 range now. We'll take it. Troll Stronghold completed. There it is! Sir Emic Vars has been freed! And we have finished all the RFD subquests. Just the final battle remaining, but for that we still have to do Desert Treasure and get more quest points. Wow! There we go, Watchtower quest completed. That's four quest points, very nice. We now also have the Watchtower teleport spell. Shades of Morton, plus three quest points. Holy Grail completed. 61 defense, just short of another prayer level as well. Observatory quest done, plus two quest points. All right, there we go. One small favor done, 159 quest points, and some more prayer XP as well. Boom, 55 prayer. Nice. Horror from the Deep completed. I actually got 39 range from that. Lovely. And 71 strength and 82 combat. Holy. Haunted Mine done. Troll Romance completed. That's nice. We're up to 167 quest points now. We're almost done with the questing. Big quest done here. Spirits of the Elite. 56 prayer. Tribal totem completed, 170 quest points. All right, Eagle Speak completed. We now have 172 quest points. So that means once we complete Desert Treasure, that's gonna put us at the 175 we need to finish RFD. So we're very close to Barrow's Gloves now. Just a big quest left to do now with Desert Treasure. What, what the fuck is happening in my bank? Look, I have zero coins. But then when I scroll down, there's my cash stack, my coins. Since when? And how? And why? Coins and coins. <laughs> the fuck? No way, I didn't fall a single time in the pyramid. This is amazing. I have completed Desert Treasure 1. And we now have 175 quest, quest points, so we can go ahead and finish RFD. Oh, and I get a magic level. I didn't even expect that. Just about enough to get 86 magic from that as well. Let's get those Barrow's Gloves. That is it. The Culinaromancer has perished. We've done it. Recipe for disaster complete. The final part that I wanted to have before starting the Championscape grind. Let's get those Barrow's gloves and then the real grind begins for this log page. I'm quite scared of this one, I'm not gonna lie. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Champions challenge, zero out of 11. And we're going for 11 out of 11 in one go. These are the stats we're starting with. 60 attack, 71 strength, 61 defense, 70 hit points, and 39 range. I'm very curious to see how high those stats are going to be by the end of this grind, but it's definitely going to take some time to get there. I actually got a prayer level from that. Figured I may as well use it on prayer. 57 prayer, let's go. First things first, let's get ourselves that cannon so we can put those 
87,000 cannonballs that we made to good use. 750k down the drain. I think the first scroll that we're going for is the goblin one. We're just gonna work our way up, starting from the low level monsters all the way up to the lesser demons at the end. So the goblins are about to go down. The Barrow's gloves have also been purchased. Hard task done in the achievement diary. So here we are, time to get those champion scrolls. Now there are 10 different scrolls to obtain that all have a drop rate of 1 in 5000, which can then be used to fight the different champions downstairs in the champions guild. After defeating all of them, we will then be able to find Leon the Core, after which we get our 11th and final item for this green log, the champions cape. Hey, let's go. First range level milestone, level 40, has been achieved. That's only gonna go up a lot more over time. Already 400 goblins in. We're gonna get to the drop rate of this one in no time with the cannon. Damn, we're already pretty much halfway to the drop rate. 2,500 goblins killed, and that only took like an hour, so... This has to be the fastest scroll out of them all. Basically a two-hour scroll on average. Already up to 44 range as well with the cannon. There it is! We've got it! We've got our first champion scroll. Where is it though? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Goblin champion scroll obtained. That was 3,366 goblins for that one. So that's not too bad. Glad we got that one before the drop rate already. Granted, it would have been the least worst one to go dry on, I suppose, because we get the kills so quickly. But I mean, we'll take it. A quick scroll to start with. And I guess we can move on to the second one. So we'll go ahead and kill some imps now, I reckon. Alright, so for the imps, I'm probably just gonna plunk down my cannon over here at Hosidia so it can take care of the imps over here. And then we use the RD cloak to teleport to the monastery and kill some imps over there as well. It's gonna be a bit harder to keep track of the exact amount of kills we get because it doesn't track the imps that are killed by the cannon when I'm not here. So we'll just have a little bit of a guesstimate at the end to see how many we've killed, but here goes nothing. Scroll 2 is on the go. The mystery box of all mystery boxes. A dr a what? A dragon medhelm? What do you mean a dragon medhelm? That has to be more rare than a fucking still baguette. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that 47 range was actually 1650 total now as well. Very nice. Cannon putting in the work. Yo, what a massive milestone already for the range level, hitting level 50. And I've only been killing monsters that have like zero hit points essentially, right? So I'm not getting that much range XP per hour. But uh, yeah, already used like 7,000 cannonballs. Also gained two attack levels so far. We're up to 2,000 plus imp kills on the tracker. So safe to assume we're already over halfway the drop rate, considering the kills that our cannon gets over at Ocidius don't count on the tracker. Well, there it is. <laughs> I was just asking for it. And I got the Imp Champion Scroll. Easy as, easy as that. Oh, that's good. We got that one. I feel like that was probably around the same amount of kills as we did Goblins. Because I have 2,818 on the loot tracker. So with the ones added that we got at the Osidious Beach, that's probably close to like 3.4k or something as well, I think. Or maybe a bit higher, I don't even know. But anyways, 2 out of 10, let's move on to Skeletons. We got up to 51 range and 62 attack so far. Let's go pick up that cannon as well. We've arrived at our place for the third scroll. Not sure where I have to put my cannon, but I guess I just plunk it down here somewhere. Start the Skeleton Massacre. Oh, hey, got the 65 attack and 84 combat alongside it. Also up to 55 range already. The 65 attack is actually pretty big because that allows me to use the zombie axe, which is something that I think I will be going for as the uh, next champion scroll I'm working towards is going to be zombie. And the uh, zombie axe would be pretty nice to have for the near future. So I think it's a pretty good chance that I'll go ahead and try and get that one because that's on the miscellaneous log, so it's passive anyways. So it doesn't go against my rules at all. Already over 2,500 skeleton KC, over halfway the drop rate of scroll number three. Whoa, huge, 60 range already now, and we're only on the third scroll grind. Oh, and we're over 5,000 skeleton kills, so this is the first scroll where we're actually going over the drop rate, the third one. Yo, actual big level already, 70 attack coming in. I guess I'll switch over to defensive now and get that one to 70, and after that... Train some strength, I think. Already over 7,500 kill count now. I guess this might be the first crawl where we already get to double the drop rate, but 
I guess we might still get it. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. I didn't even realize that I went past 10,000 KC. We are over double the drop rate on skeletons. Oh my god, my range level is already 65. Are you kidding me? So is my defense, by the way. It's getting up there. Let's hope we don't have to reach 70 before we get the stupid third champion scroll skeletons. Over 12,500 skeletons. 2.5x. Surely before 3x, right? There's no way we have to go over 15,000 KC on these stupid skeletons. I'm down to 60,000 cannonballs. I've already used like 27,000 on the first three scrolls. That's not good. Oh my god, I actually got it. Thank fuck for that. I was like, where did that sound come from? Oh yeah, it's because I got the item I need on the log. Let's go. Thank fuck. <laughs> oh, we don't have to go three times the drop rate for the skeleton champion scroll. We got it at 13,156. Ah, praise the Lord. Three out of ten on the champions challenge. Now, next up is the zombie scroll. And for that one, we have to do the new quest because I want to get the broken zombie axe first as well. Well, it looks like for the quest that we have to do to get to the zombies, we do have to do some other quests as well. We need to do Creature of Frankenstein, then we have to do Garden of Tranquility and What Lies Below. So, a bit of a questing intermezzo before we continue the champion scroll grind. Creature of Frankenstein, complete it. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing... I'm doing Garden of Tranquility, and I'm at the part where I have to wait for a few things to grow. So I was like, let's just start What Lies Below while I wait. I... Realize that I need 35 room crafting for this quest. <laughs> um, so I, I guess maybe I'll do some other quests to also get 35 room crafting. I, I don't think I want to room craft necessarily, but I think I can just do some more quests. I'll probably do like the the leading like the quest leading up to Guardians of the Rift as well. Even though I'm not obviously doing that log yet, I think that's fine. It's not like I risk getting log slots from doing that. But I have to get 35 room crafting, so I'll probably do I really want that zombie axe, to be honest, so we're gonna do that. We have more quests. Here we go. Enter the abyss. Complete it. We get a small pouch. Nine room crafting. Lovely. Eyes of Gluffery completed. That's a good chunk of room crafting XP already. Let's do Temple of the Eye now. Okay, that is Temple of the Eye done, which gives another 5,000 XP at the end. What level do we have now? 31. Okay, so we still have to figure out how we're gonna get from 31 to 35. Okay, library wasn't too bad. Quick, like, 40 books or something. We got 35 room crafting. And there we have it. What lies below completed as well. And now we are ready to take on that new quest, Defenders of... Varok, I think it's called, right? Uh, yeah, Defender of Varok. Oh no, I need, I need to finish Garden... Oh yeah, I was waiting for my stuff to grow. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Garden of Tranquility also completed. Now we can go ahead and do Defender of Varok. Okay, so it looks like we've made it in the quest to where we found the zombies that we can kill for the broken zombie axe. And we're gonna do that before we continue this quest because... This way we have these zombies all to ourselves, so let's go and switch over to Ancients, let's get some runes. I think we're gonna try and burst these zombies for a bit. Okay, final quest to complete, Hand in the Sand, so I have access to the rune store so I can buy runes for Ancients. Now we're done questing, okay, it's time to kill zombies now. I think this is the gear I'm going with, looking like an absolute shad with our dragon medom that I got from a mystery box. Some prayer bonus from the monks, uh, from the zemi ropes and the damage book. I think we should be good to go. Master want to auto cost ancients. I guess I may as well put it on defensive as well, get some more defense XP from that. Put that on ice burst, we got blood burst to heal up when we get damaged. Let's try out these zombies. There's no, <laughs> there's no way. Holy shit. I've only killed 130 and I have the broken zombie axe. Let's go, dude. Now I'm actually not sure if I should keep killing these for the scroll. I don't think so. Dude, I have like all my runes left still. I don't know, I feel like I overprepared. <laughs> I do have a lot of runes now, but I think I'm gonna use that for bursting something else. I guess I may as well just finish the quest now and then I can uh, fix the zombie axe and that'll be our main weapon from now on. That's pretty cool, 130 KC. Let's quickly fix up this bad boy. I think I just use it on the anvil. Repair the zombie axe. There's our new main melee weapon. Replacing our dragon simi. It's like somewhere in between dragon simi and whip, I've been told. So, look at that. 
Zombie X acquired. Lovely. We're gonna use that already on this grind for the rest of the scrolls. Alrighty, Defender of Vera completed. Don't really get anything else from that, but we have the axe, that's all we care about. Time to kill more zombies. There's absolutely no way we got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Today is a good day, ladies and gentlemen. That was the first zombie strip. I only used 800 cannonballs. <laughs> We got at 364 normal zombies and the 134 armored zombies that we killed earlier for the axe. What a great way to start this weekend. On to the next one we go. Alright, next scroll I'm gonna work on is the giant champion scroll. So I'm just gonna kill some hill giants in the deep wildy dungeon. Try to get some giant keys along the way that I can use for Obor later on. Because even if we get to the drop rate of 1 in 5,000 for the champion scroll, I'm only to be expected like 78 giant keys if I kill them in the wildy. So we're just gonna do that and hopefully get loads of those so we can uh, use those for the hill giant club. There's the first giant key. Hopefully the first of many. We're currently at 5 out of 10. Oh my god. No shot. Holy shit, we're, we're streaking. What the fuck is happening today? 220 hill giants. I only have four giant keys. What? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm happy that I went dry on the skeletons. If that means I'm gonna spoon everything else. What the fuck is happening, dude? Let's get out of here. Yippee! We're halfway, kind of. Not necessarily time-wise, but scroll-wise. We have five out of ten now. All right, next up, Hobgoblin Champion Scroll over here on the peninsula on Zaya. Can we get three scrolls in one day? There's absolutely no way, right? Man, what is happening? I'm already over 1,000 kill count now and I don't have it yet? This feels so weird. Surely I should have it by now, right? Like the other two that I just got today. Oh, look at that. We have 70 defense as well now. So we're just going to switch back over to strength. Probably just stay on strength for the rest of this grind. But getting flat 70s on our melee stats is definitely a nice bonus already on this grind. And already up to 68 range as well. Yes! <laughs> Three scrolls in one day, ladies and gentlemen. No way. Oh my god. That was like the end of the first trip as well. I just ran out of pots. I was just waiting for my attack and strength to go down a little bit more before I went to the bank to grab some more. But there it is, Hobgoblin Champion Scroll. We are now at 6 out of 10 already. That was 2,886 kill count. On to the ghouls, I think, are next. First 1,000 ghouls have been slain. How many more? Yo, look at that. 70 range has already been obtained. What a massive level to get, and we still have almost 50,000 cannonballs left, so we'll definitely get over 80 range by the time we're done here. Unless we spoon all the scrolls, of course, but that's probably not gonna happen anymore. But I'm really happy with that. 70 flat melees and 70 range, the combat stats are getting up there. Oh my god. Well, on to the next one. <laughs> Another day, another scroll, that is 2,220 ghouls, and we only have three to go. But I guess for the next one, we have to go back to the wildy, because we're going for the Earth Warrior scroll now. Wow, look at that, we are strong. 75 strength, making us 90 combat as well. What the- oh! <laughs> what the fuck? No way! No way! Are you joking? That is... <laughs> okay, so hear me out. I was I was gonna go today until I reach 1,000 kills on my loot tracker. I have 992 on my loot tracker. <laughs> Which basically means... Let me do some quick math. It basically means we have around 1,216 kills of Earth Warriors. Because they have a chance of dropping nothing with like the correct multiplier and everything. Basically 1,216 kills for that one. I don't know how we keep pulling these champ scrolls out of my ass, but I'm sure there's two more somewhere hidden in there. We're gonna find those as well, hopefully very quickly. I'm liking this. I'm liking the way this is going. But we have the two highest level monsters remaining, Jogers and Lesser Demons. The crazy thing is, I'm at 8 out of 10 champion scrolls now. I still have half of my cannonballs left. I mean... At this point, I don't feel like I'm gonna use all of them, but I guess I could still go very dry on either the Jogers or the Lesser Demons. I mean, I'm gonna miss out on the range XP that I was expecting on this grind. This is it. 
This is the one. The Mithril Scimitar has been obtained. Let's go. Oh, hey, look, we've killed 1,165 Jogers so far. And we now have over 5,000 trading sticks that I've been picking up. So we can use this to unlock the access to the deep Brimhaven dungeon. Just in case I ever need that, I suppose. I figured I may as well pick up the trading sticks because we get them here anyways. And it's kind of zero time spent on those. So I guess that's a nice little bonus. I don't know if I'll pick up more than this now because I don't feel like I'll need them for anything else. But yeah, we got those now. We're over 2,500 Jogers, halfway to the drop rates. We'll see if we get this one before the raid is all, but I highly doubt it. Surely sooner or later we do have to go dry on one of these again. That being said, we do almost have 10 million loot value just from the Jogers, and most of that comes from the Joger Bones, which are surprisingly priced at 3.4k each. But I do believe that you can even sell them for 4.5k according to the uh, Grand Exchange tracker on the website. So pretty crazy how much value these bones have. Obviously, I'm not picking them up, but two quiz masters one day. What did what do we get? Buckets. Oh, oh, oh. We're done with jokers. No way. <laughs> Again, under drop rates. Oh my god, dude. We're we're down to the last one. We are down to the final, the final champion scroll. 3,439 jokers. Once again, under the drop rate. And the last one remaining is lesser demons. We still have 31,760 cannonballs for that one as well. So plenty of range XP to get. Plenty of increased kills per hour. Might just be enough to seal the deal with the final scroll. If we get that one under the drop rate as well, this is the most spoon champions cape I've ever seen in my life. So I do believe for the lesser demon champions crawl, the meta is to kill them in the Wildy Slayer dungeon. So we're gonna try that out. I'm gonna bring about 2000 cannonballs like I did at the Earth Warriors. Although obviously this is gonna be a bit more of a hotspot where I might run into a few more PKers. So I'll have to watch out. I do still have these Rings of Wealth from when I did Crazy Archaeologist, so I have the Teleport above level 20 Wilderness. But I might die a few times on this one, but it's the last scroll, so it doesn't really matter. I'm sure I'll be fine. My heart. My fucking heart. Wait, what log is that on? What fucking log is Revenant Cave Teleport? Wait, that's a re Oh no, I just ruined my account. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, this is very bad. I forgot about that one. Ah! There go my plans! No, this is so bad. This is so bad, actually. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I guess I kind of fucked myself. I guess I... Oh no. I have to do Revenants now after this champion... Obvious, like I have, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna finish this log. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even want to think about it. I, I don't even want to think about it. I mean, I guess I may as well keep killing them in the Wildy Slayer Cave now. Oh shit, this is bad. Well, I guess we change our plans for after the Champions Cave. We'll, we'll go for the Revenant log. <laughs> it's gonna be paid. But it's gonna be exciting nonetheless, right guys? What's the worst that could happen when we have to green log revenants in one go with like 70 stats? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And afterwards we continue with the plans we had before that. It's all gonna be okay. Let's get this final scroll. Let's get some revenant cave teleports along the way. It's gonna help with the next log. Whoa, a trower parchment. That's for sure gonna be useful when we get to the revenant grind, I think. You know, now that I've done all these quests, I actually did realize that I can just charge glories as well now. So let's just quickly get an eternal glory and then that will be nice to have, you know? Hmm, close. But yeah, we can use this instead of the Rings of Wealth, so probably just gonna use glory teleports. A magic shore bow scroll. That's actually gonna be useful, especially if we have to kill a lot of revenants. Uh, might be using an MSBI, I think. We'll see how that one plays out, but good to get a few of those probably. Yo, 75 range? Let's fucking go, dude. Hey, 77 range, which also puts us at 1,750 
anecdotal level. Creeping up on half the drop rate now on these guys. We're at 2,200 kill count on the lesser demons. No scroll yet. And I think soon enough I'll, I'll get through all the remaining cannonballs I still have. I think I have like 15,000 left at this point or something like that. So probably still enough to get two or three more ranging levels for sure. But once I run out of those, the kills per hour are going to slow down tremendously. So I do hope I get it right before I run out of cannonballs. But I wouldn't mind having to kill a few more just to get some extra range levels in to prepare ourselves for the Revenant's grind. No way! Oh my god, we actually got it! What the fuck? Oh my god, I just started today. I did like 150 kills today. We are done with the champion scrolls. There's absolutely no way we only went over the drop rate for one of all 10 scrolls. Let's get out of here. I have the scroll, yes. I have my cannon, yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't believe it. 2,671 lesser demons. Wow. <coughs> I'm choking. I <coughs> just... <coughs> Hang on. Look at our beautiful collection of champion scrolls alongside the 64. <laughs> Revenant cave teleports that we also have now, which I mean, I guess will help a little bit <laughs> on the next grind. But first, we are able to finalize this one. We are gonna green log the champions challenge by taking on all these champions and claiming the champions cape. These are the stats we end up with. We are just short of 80 strength actually. These are not the stats I expected. I expected to be level 80 in all of these. But we were 70 attack, 79 strength, 70 defense, and 77 range. I do still have some cannonballs as well. Just under 13,000 actually. We started with 87k, so we did use quite a bit, but we still have a few remaining. Thanks to the fact that we absolutely spooned the shit out of this grind. Once I get the cape, I'll show you all the KCs next to each other, but this might be one of the luckiest champions capes ever. Alright, here we go. We have arrived at the champions guild. Let's go down and let's start fighting some champions. I've got five scrolls with me that I can do in my melee gear. The other five have like different restrictions, so we'll have to do a few trips to get all of the champions down. But I mean, it's not gonna take too long and we'll have that cape in a second. Let's start with the imp one. No special attacks, not really an issue, is it? How does this work? Do I use the scroll on this guy? Yes, let me add him. Here we go. Imp champion level 14. I'm shaking in my boots right now. Look at him. He's pretty cool, though. All these champions are very, very cool. That is one champion down. We're also getting Slayer XP from this, which is pretty useful. Because I think this might get us, you know, some XP towards the level we need to get an Ava's Accumulator, which is definitely going to be helpful once we go to the Revenants after this. Let's use the zombie scroll, which is no magic attacks. Zombie champion down. There we go. Giant champion means only melee attacks. Another easy one to deal with. Level 56 combat. I've said this before, but I feel like the giant champion is cooler than Obor. I feel like this should have been the design of Obor. 15 slayer. Beautiful. I think it's 18 Slayer that we need for animal magnetism. So we are well on our way for that. We'll definitely have it. An Earth Warrior where we can't use prayer. And he's actually level 102. But should still be an easy one to beat. Look at me hitting 33s with my zombie axe. I'm actually getting pretty strong. And the final one of this trip. The Joger Champion where we can't use range attacks. And he's also level 107. And that is 5 out of 10 champions down. Already 18 Slayer, actually. Let's go to the bank. Let's set up for the next one. All right, we're back. Gonna do three more. Goblin is going to be only magic attacks allowed. So we're just gonna fire blast his ass real quick. Looks like he's a mage as well. How cool is this goblin champion, actually? What the fuck? Bada bing, bada boom. We'll do hobgoblin, which is no melee attacks. Hobgoblin down. Now let's do the skeleton, which is only range attacks. Currently just using a willow shortbow because I still need to make a magic shortbow. All these champions are so cool, like I said before. Look at him. Okay, we got him in the end. Took a bit of time with the willow shortbow, but that's the skeleton champion down. All right, for the ghoul champion, we can't have any armor on or have anything in the inventory. So just weapon only. He's too good. He's hybriding me. Okay, I got him. Let's go. On to the final scroll. The lesser demon champion. 
Alright, final scroll, lesser demon, no armor or weapons, only inventory. Level 162. I think he mages? Let's see. I believe I mentioned you're not allowed to take any weapons or armor. What are you waffling about? Can I not bring my ring? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, that should be it, right? The lesser demon champion has been slain. Leon de Coeur has challenged you to a fight. The final battle for the champion's cape. Oh yeah, I can't use an inventory against Leon, apparently. All right, Larxis, let me at him. My challenger is ready. Leon de Coeur. Wow, what a, what a challenge. Give me that cape. And the champion is down and a new one has risen. I am now the champion. Let's fucking go, dude. Look at that cape. How nice is that? And we can kill desert lizards. This is the best day of my life. Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful. Now, I think we can even get more XP. Do you have any more rewards for me? I think I just need to search the chest over here. That's gonna give me even more XP. Oh, we need to like rub one champ, one uh, lamp at a time. Okay, this is gonna give us a lot of XP. Let's get all of these lamps. Look at the XP flowing in right now. Best Slayer XP ever. This is crazy. I didn't expect to get this much XP, actually. Look at that. All the way up to 41 Slayer from that. We gained 40,000 XP from getting this Championscape. And look at all these beautiful banners. We are done with this one. Let's take a quick look at the collection log. And that is Champions Challenge Green Log, the 11 out of 11 at record speed. Absolutely ran through that one in no time. Pretty happy with that. But unfortunately, we all know what that means now. Because, as you know, we kind of fucked up towards the end. And we have 1 out of 14 on the next log, which is Revenants. And boy, I don't know if I'm ready for that. But I think it's time this champion prepares himself for the worst. Revenants are up next. Well, with all the preparations and the scroll grinds themselves, we racked up another 128 hours onto our playtime in order to complete the champion's challenge. And I definitely can't complain, because I got super lucky with the amount of kills I had to do for this one, averaging just about 3,300 kills per scroll, so quite a bit below the drop rate of 5,000. Happy to be done with that one, having one of my favorite capes in the game in my position session now. But as you all know, a massive challenge awaits me as I now have to go and get all of the other drops from Revenants. And man, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that grind, but who knows, maybe we'll just get lucky again. We're gonna kill the first imp. And we get... The collection Oh my log. god, no way!